Hey everyone, Ben from Living Survival, and today I have the Vicello V300 Ultra Mini Headlamp. So stick with me. Well, if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you've seen me do several different headlamp reviews. As I've said in other headlamp videos, I kind of divide them into two categories. One, lighter weight and lower lumen headlamps, which are great for camping and hunting and fishing and you know just general outdoor activities. And then work style headlamps, which are generally brighter and a little bit heavier on the head. You guys asked me to find a budget friendly small headlamp and I believe I did just that with the V300 from Vicello. I've been wearing this and using it for several weeks now, especially now that it's hunting season, and it certainly has some decent quality to it, and I do really like it. Another great headlamp that I use a lot when hunting is my Petzl Tactica Plus because it has the red light. Well, this one's a little bit smaller, a lot lighter in weight, and it has a red light option as well, making it perfect to throw in my hunting kit. This is the orange version. It also comes in a black version and it takes two CR2032 batteries, the flat ones, which I'll show you in a moment. It's got the Nietzsche LEDs in it, which a lot of smaller lights like the photon lights have in it. And then it has a main white LED, which does low, high, and then a flash. And it's got two red LEDs, which will do steady on and then SOS. Weight wise, this little guy only weighs 32 grams or just over one ounce, which is a lot lighter than my Petzl, which weighs in at 85 grams. Both are pretty lightweight and both are pretty comfortable on the head. This one pivots down, which is nice. I definitely don't like headlamps that don't have the pivoting feature, so you can throw the light out in front of you, or you can also point it down for task, uh, tasks and things like reading or just shining the light right in front of you. It's got a comfortable adjustable headband and it's pretty comfortable on my head with or without a hat. Obviously it's a little bit more comfortable when I have my hunting hat on. There's two little plastic pieces at the top here. You can see that there's plastic on the back here and when I show it to you off the head in a moment you'll see what I mean but sometimes those do poke a little bit into my forehead the light is very simple that's another definite benefit of it is that you simply just press the button there's no special modes or anything like that pressing the button just cycles through the modes so you have a low white light a high white light and then a flashing white light and then it goes right into your red lights which illuminate the two red leds press it one more time and that will give you a strobe great for location or signaling for rescue Another feature that I really like is that from any mode, you can just hold down the button and it will shut the light off. So you, to turn it off, you don't have to cycle through all the modes. However, to turn it to the mode that you want, you do have to cycle through the modes, but no big deal. We can take a look around the headlamp here. You can see the power button here, which cycles through all the modes, and then it does flip down pretty easily. It's got several different clicks so that it, it stays in one spot. It's not just gonna fall uh, fall down on you. Here's the battery compartment here. You simply just unscrew that to get to the batteries. Although I couldn't find specific run times for all the different modes, they do say that it'll run 20 hours on the low mode, which is pretty good. So another cool feature of this headlamp is if you take the headband off, it's got a clip in the back so that you can easily clip it to something like the shoulder strap on your backpack, which again would be great for signaling, or if you just prefer to wear a, head, a headlamp that way on your shoulder strap instead of on your head, you can easily do so by simply just removing the headband. I didn't find any issues with leakage, leaving it submerged underwater. Here's what the battery compartment looks like. You can see that there's a pretty decent o-ring around the cap there and then you just load in the 2032 batteries and screw the cap back on This headlamp has a really good red light mode on it, which is cool. It's really an ideal headlamp for hunting. It's very small 
and uh, doesn't take up any room in your pack and it has the basic functions it has a two white modes and a beacon and then a red mode and a beacon so useful for signaling and uh, really useful for a hunting pack it'd be useful around camp too it's not the brightest light so someone looking for a brighter light for hiking or work or more task oriented headlamp might like a brighter one but definitely for hunting it's plenty bright and uh, you know I can walk through fields and woods and everything just with this red light the red lights nice and bright so I hope you guys enjoyed that review today on the Vicello V300 Ultra Mini Headlamp. You guys asked me to find a small budget headlamp and I think this one is just it. Its price is 13 bucks and I'm gonna leave some links below to their website and also to Amazon where you can find this and some of their other headlamps. Definite pros are the weight and the small size. Again, it's great for hunting. It's 60 lumens so it's not the brightest but again, it's perfect for just around camp or things like hunting. The red light is awesome. It works really good. You can see definitely clearly at night with the red light, so I really like that feature about it. The headband is comfortable, although the little mount that it has in the front with the, that plastic can sort of dig in to your forehead. I might just put a little bit of foam tape or something like that on it to make it even more comfortable. It is IPX6 waterproof, so it doesn't have the highest waterproof rating, like, which is IPX8, but it it doesn't have the lowest either like my Petzl which is IPX4. Now it doesn't have the most common batteries, it takes those flat round batteries, but they are pretty common as far as those flat round batteries go and you can pick them up pretty much at any drugstore or a grocery store. So if you're looking for an ultra light budget headlamp, this one might be the ticket and they also do have another model which is a little bit larger and brighter as well and again I'm going to put some links below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today, please give it a big thumbs up. Share it to your friends and family on social media, Google+, Facebook, and Twitter. And don't forget, if you want to follow me or give me a like on my social media, my links are below. As always, guys, if you haven't already done so, please click that red subscribe button for more videos.